What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and this is going to be very different. Number one, the Doom video will be out soon. Two, it's colder than shit so you're going to see my breath every now and again. And three, this is a complete guide and the fast guide on how to install any SCAR kit sound system uh, or just any SCAR system. This is exactly how to do it. You have to wire your amp to your speaker to your radio. It sounds confusing, but I promise you it's simple as shit. I figured it out on my own and it works. I can't do a demonstration. Well, because the house is like right over there and I'm not trying to wake up everyone in the house. So let's get started. First and foremost, you're going to have your amp. Now in this, it's a 2000 GMC Jimmy, so anything like this, if you buy SCAR 12s, one, it is a perfect fit. Slides right in between there. Very perfect, very seamless, looks extremely good for show. Um, but you're going to run your amp right here, right behind the seat. It just, and you never fucking see it at shows. So with that in mind, let's get started on how to actually wire this motherfucker. And you're going to start with your big thick wire. So you're going to have this blue four gauge and the gray four gauge. Uh, there's going to be a label right here. That is going to say battery positive, GRD, or GND, and REM. So your power wire, I will show you that in a second, but your ground wire, you can just run this short little wire, and you might be going, well, it's short. It needs to connect to the you know, negative battery terminal. No, it doesn't. Right there. That's where it is. It'll connect. It works. I promise you. By the way, make sure your battery is disconnected while installing SCAR gear. Do not fucking do it. I promise you, you will break something. Blow up an amp, blow a fuse, or blow your speakers out, depending on where you are in the progress tree. I'm showing you the right way. Moving ahead. My speaker wire goes behind the seat, underneath the seat. I'll take you around here, because we got to hurry, hurry, hurry. Goes right here, underneath the seat. Through this, this all just snaps up. Use a screwdriver or your hands, uh, depending on if you want to manhandle it or not. I used a screwdriver because I wanted it to look good and everything snapped back together. Run it underneath your seat belt and make sure you cover it with tons of trash and bull crap because that it makes it harder for people to see. Uh, here comes the obvious part. Uh, there's no rubber grommet, so I just ran it through here. It, don't worry, it doesn't leak water. Uh, people will tell you will. I promise you it doesn't. I've had it like this for a month and a half now, and it's during rainy season. Oh, look, frost. Uh, you're going to run it through the door, up through this little plastic piece. It just pops right up. It's super simple. And it's going to run underneath your rubber grommet for your hood, so you're not smashing that wire. It's just going down on this rubber piece here, and just going around the wire. And then it's going to come over here. So you cut the wire here, and leave enough room for it to go to your terminal, to your fuse and it could be on the other side mine's over here you could do it on the other side it's the same principle what you need to do is just cut the wire run it up to your fuse take this little case off you just squeeze in the middle and it comes down it says scar on it and then you have your fuse the fuse is a simple system there's two little hex screws uh one here right there and then another one on the other side so you just unscrew these things and then make sure you have your wire stripped, twist it, and then put a rubber grommet on it to sit in there and pinch off that wire with your little screw. Don't fucking smash it, just pinch it. Again, make sure your battery is disconnected. Then you're gonna do the same thing on this side and put a rubber grommet. It's hot in the engine bay, so it'll melt. Uh, as you can see, I have a bit of wire sticking out here, but it's fine. It doesn't really matter all that much. Also, um, I might do another video uh, talking about this, which, you know, this is for a light bar, fuse, easy access. You just pinch down your wires, pinch down your wires, and just leave two terminals on there. You don't need anything fancy, I promise you. And then right here, I just screwed in uh, to the power wire. I thought it looked a little cleaner that way, and I think it does. So moving on. Now that you've done your power and your ground wire, it's time to move on to the stuff you're gonna put in your radio. This is the fun part, because you can't have a sub sound system without a new radio. They make dash kits. I'll provide a link to the website I use in the description. They have dash kits, radios, adapters, everything 
for your vehicle. It fits your vehicle. I promise. <laughs> Moving on, so we have our REM wire, and when you put these motherfuckers in there, remember this, make a ball. Strip tons of wire and make a ball. And just stuff it in there so you have a really good connection. I've seen people just use flat wire and it's a loose connection or it's not always the best. Just make a big ball of wire and stuff it in there and let it pinch. You get a really good connection there. Moving around over here, you're going to have your right and left. Red is white. Red is right and white is left. Oops, sorry. Red is uh, right and white is left. And you're going to run these underneath here. Underneath this little seat flip. Through, again, through your plastic grommet. Sorry, I think I heard a goat. Uh... You're gonna run it underneath here, through here. Now this time, you don't have to run it through your engine bay, just you know, tuck it through and run it underneath here. It's gonna go underneath your dash. You have to pop this entire piece off. Pop it all off. It's gonna run through this, which just pops right out. It's gonna run into the back of your system, and I didn't put this in because it doesn't come with it, but this is going to be all of your new wiring. So you have antenna adapter, your right and left, which, you know, it says right and left. So red to white, red, red to red, white to white. And then you have this nightmare. So first of all, you need to find where REM is. So you need to find what starts your AC when you start the car. You find that wire and you splice into it from your kit, which is this. So this is going to snap right into the old one, as you can see back there. And you're just going to wire into this one to this one. So you look at the color of the wire, and if it's red to red, you do red to red. And you just splice into this AC startup wire. And that's what turns your amp on. That's what's going to be able to allow you to listen to the music, is this little itty-bitty-ass wire right here. Everything else is extremely standard, straightforward. Purple to purple, purple black to purple black and you just strip a bit of wire on each side, twist it, wrap it around another one another and twist it, make sure it's got a good connection, then just put a bit of electrical tape around it, push it back into your dash. Mine takes a bit of fidgeting because it's got these weird lock clips and uh, boom, sound system done in exactly eight minutes. So that's all you need to do. Everything turns on, you have bass knobs and stuff, but that's pretty self-explanatory day snob goes right there so you know thank you guys for uh for watching uh this speed run tutorial on how to do subs oh sorry one more thing and this is really weird but these things back here they just push down so you push down on them and you just let them come back up and pinch that wire so silver is your ground blue is your positive same with the big wires and you just split them off right there, go into it. And I just ran mine really short, really short wire, boom to boom, positive to positive, negative to ground. And there you go. You're completely done. That is the simplest tutorial you'll ever get. You can install any kit just like that. That's how you install subwoofers. That's how you do it. Not an amp, not a sub, both together complete video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all later.